do we need a major overhaul <laughs> of the checks and balances? Does a lot need to change? Nancy Gertner. Uh, Judge Rakoff uh, in the New York Review of Books calls for review of plea bargaining by federal judges, by a federal magistrate who could look at what the charges are. The difficulty of that is an information deficit, which the judge has as well. I mean, I can tell you that cases would be, uh, I have to deal with pleas in front of me and I knew nothing about the case at all. And after that elaborate plea colloquy, I knew even less. Uh, yes, if we wanted to keep it as a plea bargaining system, we have to do something about mandatory minimums and leverage. We have to do something about the information deficit so that it's a meaningful plea bargain. The word bargain is such are, but, a misnomer in the But are those changes context. are those changes in the prosecutor's power or are those changes in the law? That would have to be changes in the law. So do you want to do an overhaul of the prosecutorial powers? No, we'd have, but, but if you change the mandatory minimums, you'd be changing the prosecutor's okay. power Let's as well. It, and if you there. created a review, like a magistrate reviewing the plea bargain, then at least you'd oh. have some hope of some meaningful checks and balances. Okay, so that, but that, I would prefer a trial system. Call me crazy. Let's take I'm, it a fair, I'm a judge. You can't possibly interrupt me. David Hoffman. <laughs> But now you have to stop talking, Your Honor. <laughs> David Hoffman. So, so one specific that came from the other side yeah. would be some sort of review of the, gen, of the, of the plea bargain process. Um, may I, Your Honor? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on. Um, you know, for the reasons we've said, I do think it's unfair to throw the mandatory minimums uh, as a reason why prosecutors have too much power with regard to plea bargaining. But I want to address the, there was an interesting article by Judge, Judge Rakoff about, the, the idea was basically that uh, there should be a magistrate judge who should uh, be like a mediator in all plea bargains or if the parties wanted and should be available for that. I, you know, I just, let's, let's imagine how that would work. I don't think it's a good idea and I actually think the, the, a better solution is to empower the defense bar more with more resources and time to review things. You know, to understand, as in a civil case, but to understand whether what the prosecutors are proposing and what the defendant is willing to plead to is fair, you have to review the evidence. So the defense attorney has hopefully reviewed boxes of evidence. Now you're going to bring in a magistrate judge. I don't know magistrate judges or judges who have lots of time to all of a sudden take on a whole bunch of other cases and review boxes of documents. And with due respect to judges and magistrate judges, the best person to advocate in front of the prosecutor that a certain plea proposal is unjust is the defense attorney. The defense attorney who not only has the ability to review the evidence because it's their case, but the ability to talk to their client in an attorney-client privilege setting that the magistrate judge or mediator would not have and to argue to prosecutors.